Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, strap yourselves in. It's time for your Tilton Talk Show. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, to the talk, talk show along with us tonight. We've got Paul Hipkiss, who we'll introduce you to in a minute, along with Mark Adams and Chris Brown. That is the team plus me for tonight. Uh, we'll find out what's happened to Craig uh, shortly. A draw against Burnley and uh, an undeservedly loss against uh, Blackburn over the weekend. But we're holding our own. We're playing well. And that's all we can ask for at the moment. Yeah. Mm. This is what Monday nights are for, the Tilton Talk Show, yeah! <laughs> Mark Adams, welcome and greetings, great to see you at the Blues, you're night, mate. Yeah, it's nice, nice to see you, Nick. Uh, nice. You were... <laughs> I know, can I just confirm that Nick really does hate Balti, Balti Pies? <laughs> he threw, he threw the one down that Chris brought him in disgust. <laughs> With a vengeance. They stink. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, lovely. Himself, the one I only was to Paul Hipkiss. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello. I said good evening for you, then. <laughs> Jump of the water, the bottom. Good evening. Woo, woo, woo. And, of course, one and only Chris Brown. Good evening. <laughs> oh, you said you were never going to do that again. No, I didn't do it. <laughs> he did, didn't he? Nah. Back me up, team. Back me up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> OK, here's, here's my experience from... Last week, couldn't go to the game on Saturday, working. But Wednesday night, went down to the old St Andrews and dragged myself up the up the hill at the back of the, to, uh, the, the back of the main stand and railway there, into Bar 8, which has been renamed again, apparently. Bar 8. Mm. It changed its name a couple of weeks ago, but it's now Bar 8. And it will always be known as the Ray Hobro Bar 8. Um, had a drink in there, £5.50 for a pint. Discuss for a start. Alan, I was just point down your way. Point to last. Oh, you, 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 you're picking the wrong place, mate. This is uh, this is the south coast. You, oh, you, no. you, you can pay you can pay fivers for beer. Uh, there's only with with the spoons, and I don't go in there on principle. No. Um, that 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 charge a, a respectable amount, shall we put it that way? But everybody else, it's four fifty to five fifty. Or if you went for a pint tonight, pint of lager in your local pub, how much? Probably about four fifty, five right. or three pound eighty, yeah. Really? Mm. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. That's about. Yeah. 
it's inflation, isn't it? That's the world we're living in now. It is, it is. I know, I, 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 I get that. But, however, anyway, um, so, uh, time to enter the hallowed ground of St Andrews, and in we go. And uh, at the back, where we were, was one of the street food sellers. Hmm. Mm. Um, it was 10 quid for chips and pulled beef and some sauce and whatever else. And as I walked to the top of the stairs... With me? Up there's. <laughs> take one spoon for that of it. I left it on the side. Yeah. Now, it either he's got a very poorly tummy like Chris Brown, or somehow he's got two buckets under his table tonight. Oh, I know, yeah. Good or be. it was dog awful. And I don't want to try it. Yeah, I want to try it in case it was dog awful. <laughs> 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 the game itself, you know what we played, Burnley? We played one of the top three teams mm -hmm. in that division, and we yeah. matched them inch for inch, mile for mile. And if anybody is going to tell me that was a good performance at St Andrews on Wednesday, you are joking. It was an outstanding performance. An outstanding performance. Mr. Fixer has joined the crew. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, she Did is living herself. No, I've changed it to Mr. Fixer now, Chris. It's not saying anything anymore. Oh, isn't it? All right, okay. Where's your daughter? I thought she was going to go on the show tonight. She's hiding downstairs with her friends having a Halloween party. So I've come upstairs to stay sane. <laughs> now, what was, what was the question she posed to me in Bar 8? <laughs> so yeah, I, can, can I really embarrass her? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Never so, on, no. so, if you don't, I will. My my eldest daughter, for some strange reason, believes that an ale, a -L -E, a -L -E. is a fish that lives in a shell, and I have no idea why. Pardon? But she is absolutely adamant that's what it is. So. Uh, well, we'll say, Nick, she was suitably embarrassed. It was rather funny. Um, and uh, I love the fact that you, you made her cringe. So, you know, she might, she might stop asking now. Sometimes you've got, to, you've got to cringe to learn, haven't you, sometimes? You know what I mean? Oh, he, he's he's embarrassing, though, isn't he? Yeah. Within the process of beer making, there are elements of fish required. I'm not going to tell her that, because she'll think she's right. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, Nick, I will say, she also sends her apologies because she didn't fully uh, grasp it when you said, do you watch the show? Because she actually does. But she didn't hear you properly. So then she but, said, no. <laughs> she said, no, 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 no. She goes, that's an ale. I goes, no, perhaps that's an ale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is anybody else complete, uh, completely uh, lost on this conversation? <laughs> I think there's slight confusion between eels and ales. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I felt like I've just been having mushrooms or something. It's it's snails and ales. That's what it was. Right, well, I've got photographs of photographs from Wednesday night. One of them is uh, Chris Brown eating. I've got to put these up on, on Facebook. I do it later. Yeah. One of them is, is Chris uh, eating his um, bolty pie. Yeah. And the next photo on my uh, on my photo reel is the remnants that he left. One of them. <laughs> 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 we were a little bit later, ladies and gents. Right, Mark, we have the game. <laughs> No, I watched it on, uh, on, on Blues TV on Saturday. I was at the game. I saw you there. I saw you. I oh, no, sorry. You are not Blackburn. Are <laughs> we talking Burnley or Blackburn? No, I, I, did, I, did mean, I did mean the weekend, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, yeah. Go? No, he, hasn't got, he hasn't got a clue. Right, okay. We've no proper right to comment, though, but, you know, from what I've heard and what I've seen, pretty good performance all around, really. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we get stormed. Yeah, we played, we played OK. Yeah. Um, it's just that final third again. It's like the same old habits. We just need to start putting, you know, teams to bed, really. We need to start finishing. Um, Hogan, top scorer, but still misses his fair share. Can't be too critical. It would be nice to see the midfielders chip him with a goal or two to, to ease the burden a little bit. But there's nothing nothing to be too downhearted about. You know, no. look forward to Friday. Let's hopefully, we'll, you know, I'm confident we can bounce back. And I think we can... Uh, I know it's a bit early for predictions, but I think we'll beat QPR. I've got a feeling we'll beat them. It's, uh, it's not very often that we see Birmingham on top as far as possession is concerned either. And it just shows that, that possession doesn't mean that you're going to go out and win games like some people seem to seem to think. But uh, the stats didn't lie at the weekend. We did play very well, holding the ball really good. But yeah, Mark, you're right. Wait, what, yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday didn't exist. Sorry, mate. What I saw Wednesday, right, was desire. 
was need, was want, was teamwork, was professionalism, right? Uh, Hernandez, my God, off the scale. Chong, superb. Ruddy, once again, brilliant. Um, Fantastic. And, and and when Hernandez comes up to take a corner and he's and he's going like this to the crowd, that's what I want to see. That's the passion I want. That's the passion that I need. <laughs> Hannibal Nick. Hannibal Nick, not Hernandez. You, 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 you mean Hannibal. You mean Hannibal. Give me a lecture on it. I think he's... Oh. Be a coward. Everybody be good with an eight. That's all I care about. Can I say, when did he come back? Yeah. Well, I think... like the <laughs> <laughs> how much It's time for me to be a broken record again. In both games, how much better were we when he went four at the back and, and four four two? And he got us back in the game against Burnley. We equalised when he did it, and then we scored obviously on Saturday and nearly got the equaliser as well when he did it. You know, mm. I just think we're so much better when you got Hannibal Chong and Bakuna in the middle with Billy behind them, say, and then you got Deeney and Hogan up front. You can you can still ask Colin and, and um Longello to bomb forward as well. Mm. Um, you know, and I know that leaves the centre arms a bit exposed, the two at the back, but I think Trusty and Sanderson are absolute sound partnership to do it. And I just yeah. think that if we did that, we'd definitely score more, in my opinion anyway. Yeah. Definitely. I mean you can't say very often as well that you know, a goalkeeper being man of the match and Blackburn's goalkeeper was man of the match. I mean that's yeah. that tells you the whole story as well. Yeah, um, what, what fantastic saves he made to actually keep them in it. You know, all, all yeah. credit to him at the end of it. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. But uh, I can—I mean, I watched it on, on the box as well, and I can honestly say, for me, Burnley are, are a better team than Blackburn. I think actually, uh, the two of them, they're Burnley are the ones that I think will get, you know, in and around an automatic spot. Yeah. I'd say Blackburn will drop away, but I just yeah. think they're more playoff contenders than anything else. But then mm. again. The league is just, it's, it's unreal. Paul, you said it last week, but two two more wins at the top of the table compared to the bottom. I mean, come on, that's just that is it. the highest degree. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Mark, I, I think we'll, we'll give it a damn good go on Friday evening. Um, yeah. The only thing, I've got to be honest, the only thing I'm not looking forward to is yet again, another game under the floodlights. I think, you know, it's... Um, I like it. Oh, I do as well. I love it. I think the atmosphere is good. I think mm. it's, um, you know, everybody's at work to start off with, so you can't go away and have too many sherbets like a lot of people do mm. on a Saturday before mm. us, um, which for me is what enhances that, that atmosphere in the ground. And, um, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I'm proven wrong. I mean, I will say, Burnley, the noise, when we scored that goal, I haven't heard that down at St Andrews for a long time. For a long time, yeah. Well, I like the fact that John Eustace isn't afraid to have a go, you know. We're 2-0 we're down and He'll have a go at trying to get us back in the game. We're one 0 down at home to Burnley. You know mm. he'll go for he'll go for four two or four at the back. He, got, he played like a diamond, didn't he? He had a diamond in midfield, yeah. um, mm. like Monk used to when he was here. And you know that that works that worked well with the players we had on the pitch. And you know it got us the equaliser against Burnley, and we could have even gone on and won that game in the end as well. We created a couple of chances as well. Um, I thought it was a penalty, by the way, on Trusty. You know when the free kick went in and he yeah. edited it wide, people took him out. And the keeper never touched the ball and he took Trusty out and um, he looked like a penalty to me that day. So yeah. We've seen him giving, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. What do you think, of Alan? Have you seen that? I, I did. I did at the time and I, I, it wasn't even spoken about, was it? I thought, hey, hang on a minute. You know, he's yeah. just, as you, as you say, there was no contact with ball and he just no. just flattened him. Yeah. You know, goalkeepers get away with anything, don't they? They, yeah. they, they'll, they'll, they do, they'll, yeah. they'll come out steaming, flatten somebody and get a free kick. Yeah, I think the only yeah. reason I think that it wasn't given is the fact that, you know, Trusty had headed it wide maybe before he touched him just a split second before maybe. Like, that's the only reason I can think. Yeah, but, maybe. Yeah, he, yeah. Definitely, he definitely took him out. Yeah. Would VAR have given it? That's the question. If that went to VAR, would they have given the penalty? And I think the answer is yes. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. yeah. It was an interesting one yesterday, wasn't it, with Larice in the Tottenham game? I don't know if anyone saw that. When he came oh, out that, that, that was offside. Every, I, I mean, I'm sitting, I'm, I'm, seventy, uh, ninety miles away from there. And I, I could, I saw the ball touch that bloke. He tried to edit, missed it, hit his shoulder, and when they showed it in slow motion, the the ball changed rotation because it touched him. Yeah. And you're thinking, and then they say uh, goal. What? Oh, it wasn't. Nobody could be sure that it actually touched him. Well, open your bloody eyes and, and, and <laughs> have a look. Say, say what you think, Alan. 
Harry Kane's goal is, you Al? You're on about Harry Kane's goal there, aren't you? Harry Kane's goal, yeah. yeah sorry, okay, I'm going yeah. off subject here, but yeah, the, I'm, I'm on about, like, we, we mentioned obviously keepers get anything, but yesterday, Lloris, when he come out and uh, Callum Wilson scored a lovely dink. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's the, um, well, it was a, it clashed with Callum Wilson, didn't they? And Callum Wilson got up and dinked it over him. Great finish. And the goal was given. But I think a lot of people were expecting a foul on the keeper. I was. I, I was. Uh, yeah. I, I expected him to give something. And obviously, yeah. as they scored, he could only give it in the goalkeeper's favour. But the more you saw it, you think it, they just collided. Um, yeah. And mm. of course, the, the, the problem was the goalkeeper fell over, whereas the forward didn't. Yeah, uh, and and you're always thinking the referee's going to be, you know, taking that as as into account. But he a fair play to him. He didn't, uh, and I uh, stuck by it. Good, yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But no, I mean, you know, I'd like to think that he'd be half tempted on Friday night to take the game to QPR from the first whistle and go with this diamond with the four at the back again. You know, start with yeah. him. Why would get, get at him from the first whistle and get a couple of goals early rather than doing yeah. it when. Rather than doing it when we're losing, you know, do it to get us two or three goals up because I think we'd be even more deadly in front of goal with it already. Yeah. Well, that's that's the challenge now, isn't it? We've got we've had some really good draws against the top sides, you know, the Burnleys, yeah. the Sheffield United. Let's try and tweak that into wins. Yeah. You know, we've had some really good points, but let's try and turn some of them into three points. But could you imagine though, Bielik, Hannibal, Chung, and Bakuna in a diamond? Bakuna behind Dini and Hogan. I mean that yeah. that that is a good. That's a good team, isn't it? And then you've got Trusty and Sanderson at the back with Colin and Longello left back and Ruddy in goal. For me, that's that's good enough to push for like top half, that is, in my opinion. Yeah. If you keep them fit. I, yeah. I was thinking I was thinking yesterday that um <laughs> if I could pick one player from the whole of the league um to come into our side. I, I couldn't think. I, I, I come up with Pookie in yet. Pookie's the only one. He's saying, "Well," uh, and I think every team in the league would have him. Mm. Um, but there's no, as I said, eight leading scorer. I don't even know who that is. Has got eight goals, and and, and Ogre's got seven. Yeah, we, yeah. We, 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 we're complaining about his finishing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that that would sad. I mean, Harley Dean. I just noticed Benji Smith saying, why, we drop, why am I dropping Harley Dean already? And he'd be very unlucky to be left out because he played really well mm. since he's come back in. Yeah. And, mm. but, you know, you'd have to pick a two, wouldn't you, from Trustee, Sanderson and Dean? Um, yeah, yeah. You know, and I think yeah. whatever two you pick out of those three will do a good job for us anyway. Yeah. So, um, you know. That's a great situation to be in, really. I'm, yeah. I'm not, I'm not dropping in based on performance at all. It's just the formation. I'd want to change yeah. it up. Yeah. Yeah. It's formation rather than personnel, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, the, Interesting times ahead, I think, as well. You know, um, Queen's Park Rangers, what have they got? 30 points, I think, top of the league. Uh, we're 10 behind them at the moment. Yeah. You know, if we can scratch that down to seven, mm. yeah. come the weekend. And I'm saying it's an if. It's a big, it's going to be a big ask. We know that, right? Mm. But you know what? All we've got to do is turn up like we did for, uh, for Burnley. Turn up. Yeah. Yeah. Turn up and do exactly the same as you did Wednesday and as you did Saturday, um, just turn everything into a performance because I was thrilled to see yeah. that kind of football being yeah. played at St Andrews. And I, I told Mark, I said, I've not seen this here probably in the best part of 10 years, yeah. nine, eight, eight or nine years since Chrissy Eaton was in. I'll yeah. tell you what, been there, Nick. I'll absolute I'll desire. Sorry, Paul. Go. I'll tell you what, Nick, right? My missus said to me yesterday, um, should we start looking at uh, places to go in May? And I'm like, Nah. <laughs> is no she way. crazy? <laughs> First time in about like nine years that um, you know we 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 might have a outside chance of getting in the playoffs. I'm not saying we will, yeah. but I'm yeah. not willing really to commit to go away in May right now. Put it that way. So Stevie Gerrard gets a sack straight after the game and has to go back uh, on the club bus. Uh, which I thought was hilarious, and uh, he left Birmingham straight away, and he went via the a a a a a a a a a a a a a because he is Scottish. He will. <laughs> I think the one the one thing with this team is that you know they're going to put in a performance. They're going to give you yeah. which which a few a few a few months ago you wouldn't have said that. But Chris, I couldn't pick anybody out that I thought was either lazy or not performing or under. Um, 
Then nobody, every, they were on them and they were on them, on them. Yeah. Got the ball, mate. I'm on you. I'm on you straight yeah. away. That, that's that's right. been, that's really actually been like that, though. Mm. I, I yeah. would say after we had that decent start, then we had a little bit of a blip. And then after that blip, we have been like that since. We, I think, mm. we used to say that Blues could never turn up against the teams that are below them in the league, right? Mm. We haven't seen that this time around. The same mm. drive and mentality is there no matter who we're playing. Mm. Burnley were a fantastic side. We yeah. hit them on a fantastic counter-attack, something that we can't say again very often has, has happened down there. Mm. But... The key for me is it's continued. Even when we were down and we were, you know, we conceded that goal, but we didn't look as though we were going to be out of it. We looked straight away as though we we're going to go back into it and give it a damn good go at Blackburn. We're two, two down, but arguably more of the game. Um, yeah. So that's the difference now is I don't fear actually going behind Whereas before, I could never see a way back. No. Yeah. Now I do. And, yeah. oh, do we play better when we're behind? I think yeah. possibly we do. It's... Well, I think, yeah, we do. We do, up our, we do up our game. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. You well, know what I mean? Like... Against Burnley, it was, like, it was like the roof lifting off St Andrews. I, you know, was, that was damn noisy. Mark, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, somebody's just mentioned that as well. I thought the atmosphere was fantastic. And i got to I got to say, I, I got, I'm probably saying as Nick, we don't, normally go in the GM that often, but the atmosphere was fantastic in the GM. It was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all right. It was pretty good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, good. But, what we said earlier about Harley Dean, obviously, let's say we play for it at the back then and Harley Dean's in there, then yeah. you've got to pick a midfield three from Chong, Hannibal, um, Bakuna and Bielik, haven't you? You can only pick yeah. three of that four. Who, who misses out? If you do that, if you play the formation we normally play, who misses out? Please. I know Bielik will be there, but who's going to... Who's to have that ball, I'm afraid. He, sh he, shoved, he, he shoved Chong forward, hasn't he, to get those three in? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But and he, and, he, and that that yeah. again, he he hasn't scored. You know, he hit the post. He, he should have he should have scored. And whoever it was that was racing in got got there too soon. And and you know, he, he, whoever it was, I think it was George Hall should should have had a tap in, but the ball came mm. off so quickly off the post uh, yeah. that he missed it. Mm. And you're thinking. What have, what, do? what have we got to do? Sorry, Alan. This is what I alluded to earlier when I said it'd be nice to see our midfielders chip him with a few more goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. would ease the pressure a lot, but um, yeah. you, you know, you, you see other midfielders from the clubs, and they're all chipping in, like you say, they'd be smashing the back of the net with those chances. But well, you if, can't... if the leading striker in the division has only got eight goals, there's mm. there's a lot of midfield players scoring in this division, aren't there? Because yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, you, you, by this time, and we got seventeen. We, we'd, we'd have somebody on thirteen or fourteen goals, not mm. uh, and and their side would be racing away. But that's not happening. That's not happening. Right. So mm. I, I, I think, I, I think, when they get teams like us, they don't score. You know, that they, they their mm. midfielders are, are they're too busy chasing our midfielders around yeah. um, to be to be, you know, scoring wonder goals. Um, I mean, black. Oh, black! It's the second one. I, I, I thought the first one fair play. It was good that, that, that they they got past um, uh, Emmanuel Lolongo on the left, no longer, yeah. and he cut in, put a great cross in, and 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 it was one nil. Fair enough. But the second one, who's this scruff bag with his socks <laughs> down, and he's you know his, his shirt looks like he's like sixteen sizes too big. He scuffs a shot through somebody's legs. Blindsides the goalkeeper and it rolls in the corner. You think, oh, oh here we mm. go. Is, is this is this Birmingham City as we know and love? Yes, it is at that at that. You point. just described Steve Close then. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Just described me on a night out. <laughs> we, we, yeah, yeah. Like years gone by. We're going out with you then. At that point, but we're not like that anymore. You know, we'll, no. we, we'll give them a go. I want I want uh, Mark's verdict on how he thinks uh, Hannibal's playing lately. <coughs> I think uh, I think it's been <laughs> superb since day one. <laughs> we make this a focus point every single week. I think yeah, I think yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I think we should rename him as well. Hannibal we Robe. Need a brand new feature in the show just called Mark on Hannibal. 
Yeah, Mark on Hannibal. Mark, yeah, scores. Mark's marks, marks, marks on Hannibal. <laughs> okay, Mark, what it is, is... Uh, Marky we, Mark Marks. Give uh, a five-minute anal analysis of uh, Hannibal's game over a game. Uh, yeah. On yeah? Five minutes is going to be a long time. <laughs> it can be a long time, yeah. yeah. You can call yeah. it Rogue's Mark, reaction. Yeah. Mark's marks on Hannibal. What's your, what's your marks on Hannibal in the Blackburn game, Mark? This, this, uh, is a, like, this is like a strip you come down to in the hold of a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. out, out, out of five, Mark. Out of five? For what? For Saturday? Okay, we'll go to Burnley first. Three. Three? What? what? Three out of five. Okay. Three, three and a half. Oh, half. dear, oh, dear. Did you oh, see him go to some already? Oh, no. <laughs> but I think, he was um, in I oh, know, I oh, know. Joking aside, he was unlucky to, to lose, you know, lose his place on the Saturday. Yeah, you, uh, you know, I was as shocked as anyone. How many? How many for Saturday? Did you say three and a half for Saturday? Yeah. Well, he didn't really have much time to make an impact. I'd say two. Being <laughs> clattered. Right. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, knock, of course, on that. Hey, he was he was clattered many times. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah, during he that was. game. So maybe he's picked a knock up and said to the guy, yeah. "You know what? I'm not quite hundred percent about this one. I'm just going to take a back seat for a minute." You know, I, reckon, I, I reckon he's drove over Mark's cat at some stage. Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> Nig <laughs> Nigel Mann said that uh, as as for Hannibal, he actually thinks he is remarkable. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, it's a bit early for the last fifteen can minutes. Or, uh, can we have some more poet, uh, poetic? Uh, yeah, poetic please. Poetic yeah, Hannibal. So that, that <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, was Mark's marks on Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll get I'll get the um, I'll, I'll get the jingle ready. Marks, Marks, unable. You're gonna do an American accent as well. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm Scottish. <laughs> what the hell? Hannibal, the cannibal. <laughs> oh, I kill them all. Actually, go, going back to Hannibal, though, the one other thing mm. that I absolutely love, right? Yeah, he turns it on on the pitch, but boy, is he the most fantastic wind-up merchant you could ever want to see. Mm. Yeah, wasn't he Hannibal compared to Savage on... Uh, yeah, he yeah, yeah, was. Absolutely wasn't he? spot on. He, he mm. wound up the away fans against Burnley. He came in yeah. tilt, and then he was winding the fans up there yeah. as well. Yeah. Exactly what we need. We, we, uh, we have missed it since uh, Mr. Savage hasn't been around, but, you know, it doesn't hurt doesn't hurt mm. at all and boy has he got the fans on side yeah it's brilliant it's brilliant Pete Tyler's hilarious isn't it it is yeah yeah shall I read it yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark's wife was making, must make him wear a Hannibal mask to bed or something <laughs> I want to know what the something is <laughs> she takes a bottle of Kian to the liver <laughs> uh, Michael Wood says I think Mark should man mark him Oh, oh yeah, God. well done, well oh, done. Oh. Already started. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's Mark's on Hannibal. Yeah. <laughs> Mark's Mark's on Hannibal. Yeah, rejoin us again this time next week for Mark's Mark's on Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like what will what will Mark Mark on Mark's Mark's for <laughs> Hannibal? <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I forgot you're not oh, married, you are you? You're not married, are you? You're not likely to be in it. Not likely to get married. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not married. Yeah, I'm not married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're yeah. not married. No, no, you're not. No, yeah, he's not no. under the thumb. He hasn't got that mark on his forehead. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he says. Uh, oh, he's... The job's becoming Hannibal and Tenable. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, Nigel says uh, he's got a great worth ethic. Not you, Mark, but uh, oh, Hannibal. Hannibal yeah. He's a great player. Yeah. Top marks, I say. <laughs> let's say, let's say we get Michael. Investment. Let's say we get this investment from Richardson and Lopez, and it's January. Obviously. Shh, we forgot about that. We've mm. just won the. We've just. We've just won the World Cup. We're all happy. It's January. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've just. Had, 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 yeah, John Eustace has suddenly been given about three and a half, four million to spend. Where, where do mm. we improve the team? I know we can try and sign the players we've already got on loan, but let's yeah. say that at the moment they're on loan for the whole season. So where do we improve this team? Where, where four do million. We... It's not a lot, is it? Four million, really? Well, let's say, I don't know, five then. Four, four million. Was <laughs> just about investing a few more tea bags, wasn't it? I'd say another striker, Paul. 
Yeah, yeah striker. We do. We need. We need a. We need a striker. We need a good finish. Get one. Five million, though. Seriously. From from League One, you might. Yeah, I think so. If it's got to be some up and coming. Yeah. I mean, so oh, it's I mean, big... yeah, go on, you say for not a lot of money, can we get a decent player? We've got Chong. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I suppose that's down to uh, uh, scouting, and isn't it really? Mm. We've, got, we've, had, we've had him in the past. I mean, DJ Campbell weren't bad, was he, in this league? Yeah. Mm. A player like him. You know, he'd be the ideal sort of player we need. Pace, good finisher. You know, that's what we need. Have we, got, have, we, have we got nobody in the lower ranks, you know, in the, you know, coming up through the ranks I'm, at I'm all? Pretty... Al, do you know? Well, the the, the, the big leg, what's his name? Um, Josh Andrews. Josh Andrews. Josh Andrews, Andrews yeah. He's always looked the business because he's big, he's quite quick, but he's never fit for more than half a season. Yeah. He's, you know, he goes out on loan, he does all right, and then he comes back injured. Yeah. Uh, and then he get they get him fit again, and stick him in the under twenty ones or whatever, uh, and he looks the part again. And then he's injured again, and you know he's been like that for four years now. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't keep hanging on for those those sort of people. Uh, okay. He's the on, he's the on, only one in the striker uh, department. Uh, all our good players are all midfielders, and defenders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll say that. I'd go for a loan and I'd go hell for leather on a decent loan because I think prices in January always get inflated because it's at that point where you've got teams that mm. are scrapping to stay in the league, you know, and they want to get out relegation, they need a goal scorer or somebody's pushing for that playoff spot and, and then again, pay silly money for a player. I mean, I'd rather get somebody on loan with a view to a permanent move and then put, you know, a decent lump sum down um, we've used all our loans though Craig yeah but I see a few of ours going back like for example Plajeta right yeah, I, yeah. I don't know whether that kid will stay at the club um, if I'm completely honest the way we're playing at the moment he's he, he, I don't he's, think he'd, he'd get a game um, he'd be on the bench yeah but he's, but he's the only loan though and he's the only loan that possibly could go back or but could plus the be- fact he's injured sorry guys which one was that Plajeta Plajeta Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hit on the left. Um, but yeah, I mean, the rest of them, you wouldn't want to lose them, would you? The likes of Hannibal and no, Trusty. No, but Anderson. silly offer for Trusty for me. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely, yeah. Really yeah. 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 Be Lixie yeah. on the loan as well. I wouldn't want to lose either. I wouldn't want to lose him. Yeah, yeah. Though, there's too much talk for my liking at the moment around the, the fact that, that Derby won him back. And yeah, I don't like that. There's way too much talk. And I mean, I think um, at the end of the day, he is only on loan source, so they can recall him if they really, really need to and want to. Yeah. But the yeah. question is, would he want to go back? You know, could we uh, again make a silly offer for him? I don't know how uh, to do my left on his the only, the, only, the only thing is these days... Yeah, it's, it's, it's that... be more seats in a repaired stand. Hashtag just saying. Mm. Yeah, the only thing is these days is, is there, it's, it's, it's agents, isn't it? It's agents to control these people. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the time, these players haven't. They don't have much of a say. No, I think I can't imagine. I mean, we, we we touched upon this last week about um, Bailey. I can't imagine for one minute going to the World Cup, playing in the Championship, no. and then going no. to like places like you know Morecambe away and or, yeah. you know maybe mm. one club away. That must be. No, I can't see him doing that. That would be soul destroying for him. Yeah, Sam Mullet yeah. saying uh, my mate's a Derby fan and they're definitely getting him back. Mm. Well, yeah. they, they might okay. get him back, but if we mm. buy him, I said, I said, yeah. four, I said four million in January. But after that, seeing that picture of Maxi Lopez with those Arabs in Dubai, you know, it might be four hundred million <laughs> spent on the team. <laughs> and would, would you pay for Bielik now, today? Yeah, two, and half, two and a half million, do we reckon? Three million. Oh, that would be a bargain. At two and a half. If, 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 two and if we have to keep all our love players, we're going to buy one of them. Mm. Going to yeah. buy one of them, and and he's the obvious choice, isn't he? Um, yeah. Yeah. Be- because of his situation, you know, uh, Hannibal will be here for the season. Um, he- he's not going to go back to Manchester United and play for them. Um, but but Bielik has, you know, we- we'll have to buy him to keep him. Yeah. Um, and then, okay, if, if, if I still can't remember his name, the Polish lad, he's uh, oh, fit by January, then we can extend his, it's extend his. 
loan to the end of the season. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yes, uh, look, look at it. I, I, I would, I would uh, try and push the boat out and seal his, seal his, um, his signature. You know, during during the January transfer window. Go on, I mean, Craig. Like, read, go on, Craig. Read it. I know I'm you. Read. I know what say, you're going to say. I, I know uh, exactly. Mr. What you're I gonna... wasn't laughing at your comments. He was the no, one no. that's actually come in, which is uh, from our friend Lily. Sorry, Patrick. sorry, Craig. Sorry. Do this without laughing. Oh, see, I'm going to struggle. Um, <laughs> so, Mark, the uh, the comments is Mark is an animal when it comes to thinking about Hannibal, but our Hannibal is a cannibal whose balls are hard when twisting round the opposition. It's laughable. So, you know, how, how would you like to come back to, to that one, Mark? <laughs> Manageable. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think she should do like some Christmas cracker jokes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's hard. They'd go down well on Christmas Day, though, wouldn't <laughs> That's a good one. Have some, blue blues, have some blues-related Christmas crackers. You don't, mm. get, you don't get enough room on the paper in them, do you, for that, for that many uh, words? <laughs> No, coming back to a comment very, that came very good as well, though. I'd rather have seats than have you know uh, players come in. I think we've all seen that there's going to be improvements to the stadium during the World Cup, but we're not going to get anything finished until the end of the season. So, mm-hmm. for me, three more seats. That's three more people coming back to the game. Mm-hmm. We're playing decent football. Mm-hmm. There's no excuse around the ownership. I'm afraid to say all the noise that was there around getting rid of owners. It's not yeah. that it's disappeared. It's just that it's there in the background now. We're playing decent football. It's time to get bums on seats. The club mm-hmm. are doing what they can to get yeah. people through the door. They've got offers for a few games leading up to Christmas. It's a pain in the backside for everyone that we haven't got a Saturday game. But let's let's get behind. Let's get behind them. You know, let's let's show that if they did fix miraculously all the seats in the stadium tomorrow that we could fill the place because I don't believe we could no, I, I, don't, really I don't think, think we could I don't think we could I said it before haven't right, we we're Mike, not even even not from even... South Africa apologies I'm running late uh, welcome to you my friend and to everybody in South Africa who listens to the show um, Nigel Man wants to know if uh, Hannibal's got a blue robe <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'll okay. <laughs> I do like this coming from Pete Taylor and Hunt poem uh, yeah <laughs> I'll just, I'll just, I'll just say that one again because I think Warren missed it. Unavailable. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, if you missed that, Pete Taylor says, I won't t- type out my Jonathan Hunt poem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you did, Nick's reading it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hang on, it's, it's slow. It's slowly. You can see the cogs, cogs it's working. It's, and, it's, and Nick's, it's going yeah, there. Yeah. It's you'll, get, you'll get it in a bit. You'll get it in a bit and then you'll laugh. You'll go, oh, yeah. Because what, what, what rhymes with Jonathan? I can't think. Punt. Uh, uh, runt. Run don't, yeah. don't rhyme with Jonathan. I know, it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving do on. Do we think, though, no, do we think, though, no, going back to next season, well, you know, possibly the end of the season, do we think we can scrape one more season out of Dini? Do you think he's done enough to, to yeah, go no, no. another year? I yeah. think so, Mark. I think, yeah, I mm, think you're, you're probably... So. Yeah, at least at least another season, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Even back, on. even back room, I think. He's experienced. Yeah. He's, he's the more he's, play, the more he's playing, the fitter he's getting, isn't he? He's getting better when yeah. every game he plays. Mm. And, and this little decent run we've been on, he's played a, a huge yeah. part in that for us. Um, I think he's had four or five good, good really spells. Good you know, on the yeah. trot, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So he's definitely getting better. I don't, don't want to. I don't want to say goodbye to him just yet. I think uh, he's got another year in him. What is he now? Thirty-four. Thirty-four, yeah. Yeah, Peter said Dini looks a lot fitter this season. Yeah, he could. He could. Yeah, yeah. As well, well as uh, Scotty Hogan. Uh, yeah, I've got to say look. against Burnley, Dini's headers, the amount that he won, it was oh, as though yeah. we got we got Djokovic in the air playing in Dini's position. That's what it was like. It was a mixture of the mixture of the two. Mm. Um, he he won mm. some phenomenal flick-ons, and the, the other thing I like about him is he winds up. The opposition, he gets in, he gets into their heads, and and you know again, we haven't really seen that down there for such such a while. Um, that 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 doesn't necessarily get you the goals. He ain't going to go out and score twenty, thirty a season, right? No, no, no. But if he's getting to the point where he's making the defence think, that's going to open up the opportunities, and 
Scotty Open's he, he's, he's on a half decent run. I do wish he'd put away one in every one in every three instead of the, like the one in every five. Yeah. Think, at the moment yeah. when he gets his chances, but do you know if he keeps on banging them away and we keep defending the way that we are, then you know we're going to start getting those one nils like the Albion did. And you know just think about the Albion getting promoted a few seasons ago. Yeah, they yeah. Not games, mm-hmm. one Mm. Uh, afternoon from a rainy Texas from Mark Meredith. Good afternoon, Mark. Hope you're all well over there in the US. Well, Mark. Yeah, well, Mark. I t- I'll tell you one thing that is n- niggling me. Our free kicks, you know, from outside the box are shocking. Yeah. We, n- we never hit the target, you know. And, and some of them, well, we, we, we know Deanie's penalty wasn't the best, but we had a couple of free kicks from distance against um, Burnley and Blackburn. Never tested the keeper. Never tested the keeper. And there's somebody, surely, they spend all afternoon doing that. And they should they should be registering with some with some with some goals. And then and, and they're not. And they don't look like they're ever going to. You know, I I, I, I sat certainly the Bristol game. It happened as well. You know, we've scored. Three goals from set pieces, and then we get get a shot from outside the box, mm. oh, and it's it's at the top of the Gil Merrick. You know, come on, hit, hit the you, target. You know, you now set people. Up, Alan, you set me up for a question, mate. When was it was the last player to score a direct free kick for us? I can't remember. I can't Seb remember. Seb Larson won it. <laughs> Seb Larson probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Did you hear that? Chris? Is. The last player to score a direct free kick for us. Who was it? Yeah. Was he? I don't know. I was just saying how bad our, our set pieces are on direct free kicks. Like yeah, that. I heard that bit, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Stephen Gill has said Bella, and I think that's a good show. Probably Reggie. Yes. Bella, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, was of, that was probably one of the best ones we've ever scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but he never he never repeated it. When was he that? Four, another one. That three years ago, four years ago. No, yeah, at least, yeah. About four years ago, yeah. 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 Then I think we'd, we'd shoot think. from outside the box as well, because... The amount of chances that we've had recently where we, we look for the killer ball, but we haven't got these strikers to get that killer ball right. Give it a pop. It, but you never know. If you don't hit a ball, you'll never know if it's going to strike the defender and go off on an angle and get a yeah. free phone goal. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We we don't get those sorts of things. Um, so we, we, we do need to have a pop ball. And it does surprise me because use this was always one for having a pop from outside the box. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's it's a bit strange that we don't. It's not as though they haven't got the, oppor- the opportunity. It's not as though they haven't got the skill. <laughs> show you already, mm. like, oh, come on, look what he did uh, against Hull. Yeah, it was lovely, though, wasn't it? Those players back in the day, like when Granger gets the ball and he's about to take a free kick, yeah. you, know, you know there's a good chance he's going in the top corner. Seb Larson, you know, even more recently, David Cottrell was really good at him as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He scored a few crackers as well, um, but not for a while have we had anyone really. David Murphy was okay as well. He got a few, didn't he? Um, yeah. We haven't had anyone really like a lot in Larson's league, have we? Or, or Granger's that can you can say to yourself, you know, I'll have my hat on yeah. him up corner. Well, that's yeah. the thing, Paul, isn't it? Sometimes, I mean, some years gone by, we'd rub our hands together. We get free kicks in but we'd rub our hands together. But now it's yeah. like yeah. Sit, sit back in your seats, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, everyone around you saying, everyone around you, aren't they saying that's in Larson's territory? That's in Granger's yeah. territory. You never hear that now, do you? Now it's no. now it's, it's now nowadays. It's like oh, I'm going to go to the loo. I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or a bolt, or a bolt of pie. Yeah, or a bolt of pie. This is a question about Rose with Jonathan. Hey? What is it? What pie? What runs with Jonathan? Well, he works in the Metropolitan whilst drinking his Cosmopolitan. This is not uncommon to see Jonathan and now Roger Johnson. I thought Nick had turned into Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick. Yeah. Uh, on Wednesday, we were we were pretty proud, weren't we? Uh, I mean, Nick, not uh, and, we and, were, and, uh, uh, and and uh, and Craig to see that um, to see. Well, you you explain it anyway, Nick. Mate, I will tell you what. Well. It is, it is how it goes, yeah. There was a, a group of uh, young girls in the, in Bar 8 and they had got a shirt on with some logos on the back and one of them is a Tilt and Talk logo. 
And Chris was saying to me, like, in bar eight, and that like, was really proper hypnosis, was. Look how far we've come. <laughs> 11 years ago, we had a plastic microphone. And now, our logo is the God of Honour. <laughs> how mm-hmm. special was that moment? Well, well done. Mm-hmm. I've got real serious gooses here. The it was, it was. Girls, well done! You're absolutely super. Well done, to you. Yeah, yeah. And well, well done, to, well done for Craig. Well done, well done to Craig for organising that as well. Fantastic. And, and all the other sponsors too, as well, because I'm sure they had their mm. friends as well. Oh, yeah. For us to have, you know, a, a logo on the Guard of Honour for a Birmingham yeah. City game. What an achievement! Superb, absolutely. Yeah, so it was good. It was, uh, it was uh, and everybody else who organised it, and one thing or another. And yeah. um, Chris, Chris. That woman, that Auntie Linda woman. <laughs> oh, isn't she, isn't she annoying? <laughs> yeah, she's annoying. But like, do you remember what you said to her? No. Well, she came to <laughs> see us, right? And then she was leaving. You let you went. Keep your top on, duck. <laughs> oh right. Yeah. No, I think what? <laughs> yeah, well, I think that was in reference to the number she had on the back. All oh, she... right, right. Takes a coat off like this, turns around, Auntie Linda 59. Chris said it should be 69. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I it was really nice. I said 79 when she asked me, mate. <laughs> Can't wait to see Auntie Linda and uh, and, and uh, little Jack on Wednesday. They're coming up to spend the night with us on Wednesday. Um, oh. I'm sure it's going to be uh, good fun. I'm going to have a good laugh. And uh, got a tiny little surprise for Jack when he gets a very small surprise about this big, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll photograph it and put it on the talk to talk show. And uh, um, we must we must say, yeah, well done to Lindsay as well for organising those girls. That's what Whoa. I just said. Lindsay, you're absolutely super. Fantastic. 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 Well, lovely lady as well, Lindsay. Lovely yeah, she's, yeah. Right. I don't care what they say about her. Does everybody see that red fire extinguisher over there? Uh, yep. Oh, cool. yeah. That contains my year's worth of change and will be counted on the 1st of December. 2022, it's coming, it's closing in. The big day, I will be 61 on Christmas Day. Have I ever mentioned that before, ladies and gentlemen? <sighs> <sighs> yeah, we get on to, um, underrated on Song Heroes 11. Yeah, Crikey. Oh, that yes. time already, bloody hell. Yeah. Are we yeah. up to the strikers yet? Yeah, oh. we've got, that's where we are now. Well, we've got two, oh, right, okay. we've got two weeks. We've only got this week and next week left now. Unless you want to do a subs bench as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Shall we talk about an underrated, an underrated manager at the end as well? Yeah. Um, physio, physio as well. Physio, yeah, underrated <laughs> physio. Um, <laughs> Tea lady. Owners. <laughs> we do underrated owners. Cleaner. The next up. We've got the back four. We've got obviously the midfield four. So now we want two strikers. So. Who are we going can for? I, up front? Can I can I kick off with Andy Savile? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good shit. Yeah. Andy Savile got the plaudits he, he deserved. Oh, oh, just, oh, hold on, you you've been doing a bit of research. No, oh, no, oh, I just, just remember yeah. I used to like him as a you know when I was younger. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, good idea. Uh, what about Clay Donaldson? Yeah. yeah. Clay, and, yeah. and one I'd stick in there is um, Simon Sturridge. Yeah. 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 Good one. Yeah. And his, um, what was his brother's name? Dean. Dean. Steve. Dean. Dean. Yeah. What What about the uh, Scottish bloke? What was his name now? Um, Kenny Burns. Oh, sorry. Andy Kennedy. Andy Kennedy. Andy Kennedy. No, 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 no. Don't say, don't say Gary O'Connor. Gary, Gary O'Connor. O'Connor. Yeah. Bruno. Just said it, yeah. Underrated. Mm. Yeah. I think it's a bit of a flop, dare I say. <laughs> some, some great names coming through. So, Mark Burchill <laughs> from... Oh, he's at your front door. <laughs> Kevin ben Francis. Taylor, Nicky Forster. Uh, Michael Woods, Forster, Jason yeah. Bowen. Robbie Blake's a good shout. Mm. Paul Robbie Blake. Mm. Young, Jason mm. Hughes. He, uh, he was in the Prem, though, wasn't he? And he, he mm. might have been out of his depth in the Prem. Mm. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say Heskey was underrated. I just don't think he... Well, he got his England caps, didn't he, and all that? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think the song we had for him was Bang On, wasn't it? If anyone remembers that. What one? Can't sing I, it I, in, in C minor. Sing, I can't sing it on here, can I? Because it's got, it's got naughty words in it, but um, it was right at the time. He used to, yeah, oh, he okay. used to be... Yeah, now he's all right. Yeah, uh, yeah now he's all right. Yeah. <laughs> tell me afterwards, because <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I, 
I'll he tell you something be... about Emil Heskey. He scored more goals per game for us than any other club he played for. Yeah. Really? Was, yes. He was only picked in the England squad once while he was with us, and he was yeah. on the best goal-scoring form of his life, and he had to pull out because he was injured. And as soon as he went to Wigan, he was back in the England side. Yeah, there you go. What does that tell you? Uh, yeah, Scott, Scott Rothwell, Scott, sorry, Scott Rothwell has said Makeda, which is a great shape because he got something like, I think he got something like seven goals in, in 11 games for us, didn't he? He was only here a short mm. time, but he kept the goals, really. They played a massive part in keeping us up that season. Paul Caddis got the goal at Bolton, yeah. didn't he? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he rarely gets mentioned, never mind. Yeah, he rarely gets remembered, never mind mentioned, does he? What, what about Pandiani? Hmm. I thought he was all right, to be fair. Yeah. I've got one from my childhood. Yeah, John Gale, yeah. Um Jeff Fowden. Jeff Fowden. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Fowden had unmerciful stick. He got 15 to 20 goals every year for us. My dad loved him. And he and the crowd never give him any credit, you know. And we, and they found out uh during one season, he had he had he did have a bare patch, and they found out that his wife had been dying during Ooh. this season. She did pass away eventually. Uh, and he'd, he'd been playing through all this and getting some unmerciful stick. Um, but he was he, he was 15 to 20 goals every year for us. Uh, real real good club man as well. Um, yeah. What about, mm. what about do, do you think Dennis Bailey got the credit he deserved? No, oh, really? I liked him. I liked Dennis, I liked Dennis Bailey. Yeah, yeah good, good, good of goals. Player. Michael Woods has said Peter Unlove. Yeah, that's a good show. That really is a good one. <laughs> he was one of my favourite players at the time. Mm. He was my favourite player at Blues at the time. I loved him. I did. He was brilliant. Yeah. Mm. Now, yeah. this is this is this is an interesting one, really, because um, Sam's uh, mentioned Marlon King. Now, I know I know he was quite prolific in a way, but I think he was. I think it was slightly underrated about how much he put into a game. You know, you know what I mean. Mm. What? Mm. Not sure. I don't know if I'd say he was underrated though. I think he was appreciated at the Blues. A lot of fans, yeah. Most yeah. fans, because we always used to think he scores goals, don't we? You know, and he did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and he did really. To be fair to him, he was prolific for us. Um, mm. He was. He what? He wasn't liked he was, by everybody though, was he? At Blues. Aim a lot. Well, he he. Um, yeah. His his off the field activities, uh, mm. let's say, weren't very uh, weren't very clever. But it was amazing mm. all the all the trouble he had uh, with the law. Uh, yeah, he hardly missed a game for us. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he yeah. could have been he could have been incarcerated, but he didn't. Right. He, he, he still turned up every week. It probably made him a better player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, oh, for us. I, I, I remember saying to somebody, every time every time he gets the ball, no matter who we're playing, he gets stick from the crowd and I said how many teams has this bloke played for uh, and the answer was an awful lot 13 or 14 teams he, he turned out for so whoever we were playing he'd had a season with them so they'd give him a bit of stick I mean I remember that great game at Gillingham on a Friday night where we got 10 men and won 2-1 he, he played for them yeah. who's banging who's banging that's that's near. No, that's fire. It's, it's Hannibal shooting. Oh, is it? It's not what it is. <laughs> uh, Mark's mentioned Chris Wood as well. Is he Coventry, Chris? Are they? Oh, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. I, forget, I keep forgetting. So it's Beirut, really. You know? They're saying kill, kill the brummy. <laughs> kill the brummy. He hates. He hates our animal. <laughs> it's Hannibal's mum. One of the most underrated strikers we've ever had at the club, Peter Enkelman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Great yeah. shout. Uh, yeah. It's the Cameron Jerome early, which I thought was a shame. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of books at the moment. It's it's extremely close between Cameron Jerome and Andy Cole. Is it Andy Cole? Andy Cole. Andy oh, Cole. Cole. Okay. Really well, well, so many times. He didn't that play that, that many that games for us, did he? fireworks that's going off outside. Yeah. 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 I've gone again. now. Someone again. said fireworks everywhere around me. Ha ha. Just look out your window and make sure it's not Putin and the Russians. Just have a quick thunder. <laughs> and, Andy Cole only scored one goal for us, and that was at Wolverhampton. He never oh. scored at St Andrews for us. 
But right. he scored for Manchester United against us, Manchester City against us, Fulham <laughs> against us, and uh, Blackburn. Yeah. Yeah, All yeah. against it. But when he came to us, never scored at St Andrews. He was, what? He was that up the head? Was that up the uh, memory? Head? Hey? Was that up your memory? Yeah, yeah. Have you done some research on that just or not? No, no. My, 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 my knowledge of Andy Cole is playing for us. I think, anyway, six games. I think you and Paul you need to do a stat off. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, Andy Cole was a great player when he was a great finisher, yeah. but we, we got him at like what 36 and 36. Yeah, yeah. was he? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. you know, it was the back end of his uh, career. And he only played so it's probably... Diwali tonight, isn't it? Happy Diwali, everybody. Yeah, Diwali, yeah. Diwali, yeah. Happy, yeah. Diwali. Happy, Diwali. Yeah. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali to everyone. Um, but yeah, for me, I'd, I'd put Donaldson and Jerome in this bracket personally. Um, mm. I think Andy Sub was a good shout mark. Yeah, um, Kev, Kev Phillips as well. Not not he, underrated though, really. He was, he was uh, class. He was, uh, yeah, he was, he was a class player. He was one of the most clinical players we've, we've ever asked. Oh. You know, in my best, in my that best. substitution was that that you you were going to get a goal back, and you? you just knew. You were yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'm trying to think of. I'm not going to say Zigic. I don't think Zigic was underrated, was he? Nah. He's, he's a, Cool he hero, he's he's got got yeah, how can you be underrated when you won a World Cup? Yeah, I, I, I think a lot of it is he, he a lot of it, but he, he used to be in the right place at the right time. He was a yeah. bit bad when we got re when we got relegated. Obviously, when Clark came in, he uh, he was carried a bit. When he was a bit, uh, you know, he did, didn't his body language on the pitch and everything didn't look like he wanted to be there at all, did he? No, no. no. But, I mean, come on, he, he's nine foot three, wasn't he? So you know, yeah. <laughs> He's, okay. he's, the odds, the odds are that he's going to knock some in. Yeah. Can I add some... Wayne Clark into the list? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember him well. Remember mm. him well. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what, yeah. Chris? Believe it or mm. not, I was actually just about to say that Wayne Clark. Mm. Wayne Clark. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good. Good player. Because mm. yeah. brother good, of course, good family. He played for Leeds in that infamous team. Alan Clark. Yeah. Yeah. I've spoken Clark, to Alan uh, Clark a few times. Yeah. Remner and uh, and the likes. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, Michael Forsell, no, wasn't never nah, underrated. underrated. Never underrated. Best no job way. Can Best Jason team. Bowen should be in there? Uh, Jason, Jason Bowen. Bowen. He's a good player. He was. Oh, he could play any. He'd play out wide as well, couldn't he? Yeah. Mm. Right, Pesh. Yeah. Pesh. Yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's a great show. He, he got the strange way of running, Pesh, hadn't he? Yeah. When he got the he, ball, he had up. really good control of it. Was he not our best mm. player, though, at the time? Probably, yeah. Probably. Uh, Certainly most know, most exciting. Know. Oh, hang, hang on. Out of all them that Barry Fry signed, how can he be our best player? I mean, we had 106 <laughs> on the bench. Yeah. 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 I remember yeah. I remember Pesh, I remember Pesh second time round. He weren't as good, was he? He yeah. was a real... Yeah. No, no. Um, second time uh, be round careful. Round. Be careful. He does listen to the show. But I love him. I mean, we all do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah, think that. he's brilliant. We all think he's brilliant. How yeah. about this? this is he as good as Hannibal, Mark? Hey? Is he as good as Hannibal? Well, up for a face. Who's the biggest? Who's the tallest? Oh, actually. <laughs> second part of the show is Mark's Mark's on Pesh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I like Pesh. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to fit me up here. That with Mick Harford, just Gus. Oh, Mick Harford, no, he was, he was oh, class. Legend. He is. He was always going to be a legend, always. We're on about players here that like don't get mentioned much, you know. That, I mean, Makeda, mm. um, Makeda as well was a brilliant shout, you know. Mm. Yeah. Gary Ball. Yeah. Gary, um, Gary Ball. Gary Ball. Yeah. And the, and the other shout. one we had, Steve, uh, what was his name? Steve. McGavin. McGavin. Steve McGavin, yeah, yeah. Steve he, McGavin. he never let us down. Steve McGavin. <laughs> oh, God, Steve I Whitten. Him. What's Steve Whitten? Steve Whitten. That's a that's a blast from the past. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Steve Whitten. Not the surname though. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a bit too a bit too close to the comfort, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. no, he's a great player. He was. Oh, 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 Terry Cooper signed Pesh. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I did. Hello, 25, 25, 25 grand. Hello, Nicholas oh. Wellsbury. Hello to you. And uh, he's going to be in the George on Friday night. So go and say hello, Nick Wellsbury. Lovely, lovely guy. Sorry. Paul Barnes. Paul Barnes. Paul Barnes. Paul Barnes. Uh, Barnes. Uh, Bob and Mark Meredith have both said. And All right. Who are we going to choose then? Because we've been on this 10 minutes now. Chef as well. Chef. 
But, uh, Craig, do you want to keep your eye on it and let us know who wins at the end, yeah? Yeah, and, and I've got to put one more in there before we disappear, all right? Uh, Mike Newell. Newell, yeah, he, he didn't I, play that many games, well, though, did he? Or did do he? you know what, Craig? That is a brilliant show. He's a black haired guy, wasn't he? Tall, tall, gangly thing, well, wasn't he? He only, yeah. he only played about five games, though, didn't no, he? I mean, mm. I'm back in, I remembered some of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't, didn't play many, but no, was, um, you know, Ranger. Made me laugh what Granger said about him when he came on the show. That um, they'd all get a coach to an away game and he'd just meet them there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there, just, mate. Just one more before we go on that. Marcello. Mar oh, yeah. 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 He never got yeah, he never got the credit he deserved either, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shape. Um Oh, I don't know, we're gonna pick one out of that lot. We'll have to go with the we'll have to go with the uh, the viewers' votes. That's, that's going to be the, that's going to be the biggest variety we've had for a long time. I think we must have had about sixty names chucked out there. Yeah, yeah. and we've got to do it again next week. Huh? Say, say, I'm going to say save a few for next week. I'm going to do it yeah. again. Next. I'm going four. I'm going four five one now. We want another midfielder next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great shout, Mr. Chairman, says Michael Woods. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Andy, Andy Johnson. That's my very very last one. Oh God, yeah, Andy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Think, uh, I think Andrew. His first game for us. I think I was in the row icon Gil Merrick, right? And he just comes storming down where the manager's um, uh, dugouts are, storming down, and he got the ball. And I, I looked at him and I thought, wow, that is definitely one for the future. Uh, yeah, Andy Johnson's a really good chap. Mm. That really is. Yeah. He went from a lot of hair to no hair. Yeah. yeah. You'd have to think as well, what if, you know, if, if we hadn't have, you know, sort of like let him go to Palace and, and swapped him for Clinton Morris. I mean, if we'd have signed Clinton Morris and kept him as well, don't get me wrong, but mm. if Andy Johnson had done for us what he'd have done for Crystal Palace, you know, in hindsight, imagine imagine, yeah. him, imagine him and do Gary up front. Wow. In, yeah. like, in his prime. He became he became a, 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 a hero at Palace, didn't he? Yeah. 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 And, and still is, still well, is. Did oh, well at Ever Everton as well. Look, this one yeah. is Keith Birchin. Oh, not underrated though. No, nah, he was he's a legend. No, he was a legend. <laughs> legend, legend. Sorry, I'm giggling to myself again. But Nigel Mann has said you can't call it Marky Marks point sign of Hannibal. You really should call it Skid Marks because Hannibal's that quick. <laughs> <laughs> we got um, have we got a squad game. <laughs> squad game this week, Mark. Uh, Craig, sorry. Um, I, I, no, it's my bad. I haven't actually chosen any squads this week. No. We'll line it up for next week. <laughs> Which one of your family are, 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 are ducking and diving this week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, we were going to do another wind-up this week, but uh, we ran out, out of time. <laughs> we'll save for next week. Yeah, we won't, um, we won't save on it. Are we donating the tickets to this week, guys, please? Um, we are just wait. I'm waiting to hear back, and then I'll announce who's got it for. Uh, people talking for to their people. Say again, Nick. Are our people talking to their people? Yes, I've reached out. Well, we and, need to know um, this point in time, but you know, do announce it on the old tilt. That was yep. great. It was lovely. You know what? Uh, uh, what about what about them girls that come in? Uh, Chris, you take this one. Yeah, with the, the other t-shirts on. Pardon? On Please. Wednesday. Yeah. It's our game. It? It's yeah. our game. Yeah, it's her game too. Her game too. Her game too, that was it. <laughs> yeah. We've got her in the end. Yeah, uh, no, uh, Actually, whilst we're shouting out special things that are upcoming, please watch out for a festive charity event that we're going to be doing for multiple local charities. But we now have a signed shirt from this season that has been donated by Boyle Sports. Uh, we have had a signed shirt from last season, which was actually won by a uh, friend of the show, John Farrington. He's actually donating it back to us uh, for, for, again, charity event this time around. We've got two pairs, or should I say actually, sorry, two lots of tickets. There are eight tickets in total to give away for the games across the festive period, thanks to Hollywood Monster. Yeah. And I'm awaiting some further details as well of other things that will be included as part of that. So watch out. All going to be covering local charities, and let's uh, let's get to raise as much as possible on those. So uh, more excellent. To come. Is this going to be all through December, Craig? 
all through December. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Now, Christmas Day being on a... Oh, it's my birthday, Christmas Day. Christmas Day being on a Sunday this year. <laughs> we'll be doing a talk, talk show on Boxing Day. Obviously, because the football will be on, et cetera, et cetera. Or are we going to no. do that on the Tuesday? No, no. I, that's my day of rest, I'm afraid. Burnley, I'm no chance. Like, there'll be no football. Yeah. Uh, uh, What's your day of rest, Chris? Uh, Boxing Day. Yeah, that's I fine. Have, I have one every year. <laughs> I think Christmas... Are, are, are we going to do one on the, on the Tuesday or not? What day is that? It's Blue's playing on the Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, Blue's playing on the Tuesday. Blue's playing on the Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday's on Tuesday, Chris. <laughs> you, you replied as well. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Day's on the Saturday. Yeah. yeah. We've got to have Burnley on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got, got home home Monday's on Tuesday. Tuesday. So we've got yeah. Burnley away on Boxing Day. Look, yeah. we've got a bit of time. We'll, we'll let you know in plenty of time whether we're going to do one in that week or... Yeah, you know, yeah. We'll have yeah. a... One and then that happens and falls on the same day. So are we, are we really going to go like kind of almost three weeks without doing a show? Probably not. Are we, going to have a, are we going to have an international break when the World Cup's on? Oh, oh God, yeah, we've got to, haven't we? What are we yeah. going to talk about? Well, I think... Well, there's, nothing, there's nothing to talk about. Right. Well, Iran's, Iran's chances of surviving. <laughs> <laughs> after our last game, not, not in the World Cup, just, yeah. just survive. Um, then we'll see how the first week goes. Um, but then what we'll do is we'll order a plane on the second week back home. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm already wait. I'm I already can't wait for the World Cup to be over. I it started. World Cup special times four. Hey, exactly. Michael Woods. No, let's have a World Cup special times four. No, or well, let's just completely ignore that. Is Michael Michael saying you have to say it four times? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. We should do a World Cup edition on our players out there. Yeah. What players? What yeah. players have we got out there? Can somebody tell me? Remind well, me. Fischetta's got Fischetta's going to be injured, isn't he? Mm. Bealy. Bealy could be there. Bealy could be there. Trusty yeah. might. Trusty might be with America. Jordan, Jordan James in Wales. Yeah, but he'll be playing against us. I don't really want to talk about him. <laughs> 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 Okay, let's not do one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We talk yeah, about Pachetta no. for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> on the bench, Mike. He's on the bench for Pogba. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. An hour and a half. Hey, a belting show, that will. <laughs> so, so, only three minutes left of the show. Left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannibal. Uh, Hannibal, Hannibal, yes. Yeah. yeah. How can Mark yeah. forget that? At this point, I want to give... Um, a great massive shout out to uh, a blue nose, a friend of ours, a friend of the show, Tracy Hemming's gorgeous husband, uh, Tony, who is still in hospital. Um, and he's had a, a major operation on his lung to remove a large section of it. I'm not going to go into personal details, but um, Tracy's talking to Sharon on a regular basis. So I've, I've messaged uh, Tracy overnight and said, Look, I'm not going to ask you any questions because Sharon's telling me all the all, all the news that you know, and and that, I think that's the right way to do it because mm, you, definitely, I'm, definitely, yeah, definitely. Now he was going to go over and and see Tracy on Sunday, me and Chaz, um, but obviously because of the the huge operation that Tony's had to have on his lung, um, uh, yeah, it's probably best to leave it for a bit, isn't it? But like Tony is a blue nose; he's one of us, ladies and gents. So. Give him your thoughts, give him your prayers. If you pray, if, you, if you're religious, please, whatever. Even if you just think about his name, right? Tony Hemmings. And Bradley was in the hospital last week as well. My goodness me, poor Tracy's going through the mill, mate, honestly. And she's one yeah. of us, one of our tenor ladies. Um, but just, just give him some thoughts. And come on, Tony, you're a blue nose, mate. You can pull through. Fight for every single breath, my friend. Fight, fight, fight. And let's see you back at St Andrews as soon as we possibly can. Don't overdo it, sunshine, because oh. that is folly. It's silly. Do what you're told. Do it right and get back to being a part of what we are at Birmingham City. Blue Nose family, Tony Hemmings, Kate Rowan. Yeah. Kate yeah. Rowan. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. We have a World Cup special that's called Mark's Mark in Hannibal's Mark's card. 
Uh, Something gives me the impression, Mark, and nobody's going to forget We've got something for the last 15 minutes, guys. Hannibal, Hannibal is ch- playing for Tunisians. Now, are they, on, are they in the final? I think they are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they they're are there, yeah. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. Yeah, they're there. Probably, well, I've got someone for the last 15, if you want. Super. Okay, perfect. Yeah, go on, then. Yeah. This, yeah. this, this yeah. will be a change, actually, because most of the time we've, we've thought about uh, our last 15 a good few hours beforehand, and we've been able to come up with some, haven't we? Yeah. Not this now we've got, we've got no time to think now, except for Paul who's thinking. I remind you, gentlemen, that you asked me to do it. And I, oh, I, yes. That's very true. Oh, and sorry. Oh. No, 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 no. I, I have to admit that you forgot. six days ago, I had wonderful ideas. Can't remember any of them. So carry on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's just a senior thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know, Brian. I know exactly what you're on about, Steve. <laughs> we think, you see, um, my problem man, is mine isn't a senior thing. Mine's been all my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was yeah. branded a dunce at school because yeah. AA to 64. I couldn't remember it in the afternoon when I've been told it in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you're just naturally <laughs> thick. I'd be quite proud of that. Um, I'll have you know, Chris Brown, I've got 14 professional qualifications to my name, including a business degree, including okay. uh, service management, project management, uh, practitioner yeah. at project management at a high level, and um, City and Girls Electrical Testing. I've got my own book license. Yeah, Nick, 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 Nick. I've got a printer as well. A bunch, right? I just can't remember short term things right but I can remember my first day at school hmm. yeah, yeah. it kicked me <laughs> which one on the edge Westgate <laughs> Infant School in Warwick I drove past there this morning actually well, I, 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 mean, I mean which year junior infant secondary <laughs> All <I'm>... kindergarten <laughs> <laughs> nursery uh, no we didn't have nurseries we didn't have nurseries back in my day mate scouts out there how are we getting on with them votes, Craig? No, he hasn't budged, actually. We are still neck and neck between Jerome and Andy Cole. It really does surprise me. There are other names being chucked out there, and the one that's come up a couple of times now is Choo Choo. Um, yeah. Bless him. Yeah. And also Walter Pandiani. So you know, that's, that's the, there. Those are them. Pandiani was, I you know, it does be a mystery, that was. So I thought he was all right. He mm. was all right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was Chucho's right. a good shirt, though. Chucho, that's yeah, a good shirt. That's a good shirt. I think the thing with Pandiani was he came in when Forsal got injured, didn't he? And everyone was expecting him to follow Forsal, which he could never do. Um, no. But, 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 you know, if you look at him as a player on his own, he was he was all right, as you say. He was all right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Against I liked the, him. Scored against the top clubs as well, didn't he? Like Man yeah, United, Man United, United Liverpool, yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. Scored at Chelsea, didn't he, as well? Scored at Chelsea. Yeah, he almost he almost scored a cracker at Old Trafford when he hit the bar. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Goal season, if he scored that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's been ab- absolutely essential in the last fifteen minutes of this program. He comes, <laughs> he, his name comes up every week. <laughs> Pandemic, <laughs> Pan America, whatever. Uh, Lily, yeah. if you wish to make a suggestion for the last fifteen, do it privately. Don't do it on 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 the on the page. Just send one of us or all of us or, or whatever a message. Um, if, if there's something you specifically want, then that would be great. Anybody else can do that too, but don't put it on there because it gives people time to think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's dangerous, and we can't think. Ooh. And Steve Whitson <laughs> has also come up on a couple of occasions. Steve yeah. Whitson, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't realise we had old people on here. Yeah. Oh, don't be, no need to be sorry, Lily. It's just I'm saying, right? What we don't want to do is preempt anything, yeah? Mm, just mm. send one of us a message. Oh, I'd love you to do this for the last 15, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, late run of names. So, uh, Keith Birchin has now come into the equation as well. Oh, I wouldn't say he was underrated, though. Just wouldn't. Mm. Come on, Paul, then give us your, give us your uh, last 15. Uh, no, not yet. It's one minute to go. Predictions for the Is weekend. He? Predictions for the weekend, quickly. Okay, predictions. Me, uh, two one blues. Woo! Uh, Chairman of the board. Go for it. Two nil blues. Paul Hipkiss. One nil blues. Mark Adams. I'm going to go two one blues. Two all. Two one. 2-1, right, sorry. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, 2 all to the Blues. <laughs> <laughs> Craig. 
Uh, I'm going to say same as Paul, 1-0 Blues. I'm going to go with Alan and 2-0, 2-0, right? Craig, absolutely superb to see you and your lovely family down a bar eight the other day, mate. It was brilliant. Loved it. Loved every minute of it. We had a cracking lap and a good conversation. Mark, great to see you also on the, uh, in the, in the, well, the terraces. That's what we used to call them back in more day, mate. Yeah. Terraces. Paul, did you go to the game, to the Burnley game? I didn't, unfortunately, Nick. No, no. Oh, no. because we were trying to lock you in the box seats. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> who was that bloke who was, that bloke who was waving to you then? Uh, my, uh, probably would have been my dad. My dad was there, but uh, I couldn't. Oh, right. So, um, so yeah, my dad was there, but yeah, I I make... question, it's really personal. But can I ask you a question? Yeah, Has your dad got a bald head. <laughs> yeah, yes. because we thought we could see. Yeah, would <laughs> 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 be him up there. Look at him up there. <laughs> Uh, so we've had a few guessy, uh, say guessy, sorry, a uh, few results coming through. So Mike Woods, 2-1 Blues. Lily Paddy saying Hannibal to score a hat-trick and 3-0 uh, Blues and then awaiting Mark's replies. Uh, <laughs> Nigel Mann, 1-0 Blues. Stephen Gill, 2-all. Mike Hill, 3-1 Blues. Uh, Dave Fine, good shout. Friday, is it a weekend? No, but <laughs> we can stick with that one. Uh, Dave Twine, 2-1 Blues. Dom Kavanagh, nil nil. Uh, Who to? Nil Blues with a frustration backlash from Pete Taylor. Mm. Interesting stuff there. Um, oh. Okay, Paul, off you go with the last 15 minutes for today. Okay, so being part of a sort of um, hygiene and, and map business myself, um, I'm going to throw this out there. Big shower this, this morning. So again, uh, yeah, so you've been you shower, uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't had a shower, yeah. So, it's anything to do with hygiene, um, you know, something you might find in a washroom or anything to do with sort of floor, you know, what you might see on the floor, like a mat or floor protection. Yeah. So, basically, anything along those lines to do with hygiene and, and floor care to do with football. Oh, okay, I've, 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 got, I've got to say this, chaps, Lee Carsey. <laughs> that's the best one you've ever done huh? it certainly is yes i i i, I will now and it's not much you. of a bench not much of a benchmark is it really hot <laughs> <Go> water <laughs> you're allowed, you're barred. um they're already coming through we've uh oh my god look at them Pat LeBlanc. <laughs> From, Don't get uh, that one. Nigel Mann. Jeff uh, Kenner. Jeff Kenner. Jeff Kenner. Jeff Kenner. Jeff Kenner. Jeff Kenner. Jeff Kenner. Mark Brooks, you are a megastar. Jeff Kenner. Uh, here, come the, here come the Hannibal ones. <laughs> Hannibal Dodson. <Dyson. laughs> <laughs> Nigel Carsey. Nigel Carsey. <laughs> <laughs> Where do they get them from? Please tell me. Oh, and I thought I thought this was quite a difficult one to do as well. I really did. Lou Macari. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what you what you say. Probably something brilliant. It doesn't matter what. I you know. Do. Yeah. So I, I, I'm actually in that industry, and I can't think of one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 What about Eric? What about Eric Dreyer? Yeah, Eric Dreyer. Yeah, yeah, Eric good one. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Honestly. <laughs> uh, John Slim. <laughs> Oh, oh Jay Jason News, <laughs> Armitage, Armitage, Bill Shanks. Yeah, I'm probably not. I'm actually crying. Uh, I'm not going to say Nicky Bookbooks. <laughs> Ricky Shotto. <laughs> 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 this is what Mondays are for, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> John Sleep Bang. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one. <laughs> that is class, that, that is. That. Don Kavanagh. Oh, oh. <laughs> John Sleep Bang. Where the hell did you get that? Oh, my life. Oh, that's got me, though. That's brilliant. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Very clever. <laughs> You still got a 
Walter Water Pandiani. Yeah. Can't leave him out. Ah, no. Oh, about Shower Gel Merrick? Oh, God. Shower <laughs> <laughs> <Can we> Gel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually hurting the back of my head now from laughing at that one. <laughs> Absolutely wow. crazy. It's a pretty good one, isn't it, that we've never had before? It yeah. is really, yeah, yeah. Sometimes those are the best, aren't they? Well, think yeah. about all the ones that we've never had. Oh, yeah. I guess harder each week, don't you think? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we I think we had something similar once because we were told not to say Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bobby, Bobby Soap. Uh, Nick Spray on Spall. Yeah. Clever. Lee Sealand. Come on, up the game, up the game. Come on. Yeah, yeah, come, come on. on. We want to see Mark crying, uh, uh, Nick crying. <laughs> Honestly, them them early ones, mate. They had me proper. That was... oh, I don't know whether John City Bank can actually be beaten because that is John City Bank. No, oh, I don't think so. The other one, okay. so it's just, it's just <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that was a good one as well. I'm going to forget that. The other one, I'm going to be very quiet. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good night, all, please. Uh, please uh, yeah, so so we had uh, we've got there we got Michael oh, Forsett, oh. Eric Eric Diarrhea, Bobby Zoflora, <laughs> Hugh Johns Hugh Johns for wiping, Off the case. <laughs> Razor Ruddock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't get that one, Dick Noir. You don't get it? No, Dick don't Noir. Don't you remember what he said to us? No, Dick. No, Noir. no, I'm, no, I'm talking about another one. Huh? I'm talking about yeah, Dick, uh, Dick Noir. Dick Noir. No, I don't get it. Uh, mop and floor cell. Mop and floor cell. <laughs> that's, that's clever, yeah. I'm not going to okay. say Danny Shit. No, you can't say. <laughs> I would not <laughs> say Danny Shit on here. Uh, that's, that's not what to say Danny Shit. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I don't think we should say Danny Shit again on the show. It's, at it's all. It too. It was shit too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's his real name. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's where it is because that's his name. Okay, so on that subject, how many players had very unfortunate surnames or, or first names can we think of as well? As a little side as a little sideline to this. My favourite is Kenny Lunt. <laughs> Kenny Lunt, yeah, yeah. I suppose John I suppose Jonathan. Jonathan Lunt as well. What about Mum Easton? Norwich. Yeah, Dean Windass. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Can't read them. The one above that I can't read out. Yeah. <laughs> can't really read out, Michael. But actually, that's good as well. Funny though, mate. Funny, keep on coming. Yeah. Right, like John, Bum- right, John Bumstead. Remember him? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so apparently, this is a real name, Lopez <laughs> Ufarte. <laughs> Lopez Ufarte. Yeah, he was in the him. Spanish team. Yeah. Yeah, Ufarte. Yeah. <laughs> he, used, Ufarte. he used to go like the wind. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Dix, yeah, Dix and Seaman, they were unfortunate, weren't they as well? Run out of, yeah. uh, run out of uh, ideas now, with this. Yeah, I think we have Paul Toilet Brush. Mm. I'm not sure. Fanny Lee, yeah. <laughs> that one. It was Fanny Lee, not Fanny Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. Al- Alberto Baxham Tarantino. I don't get that one. Can please explain, Jason Hughes. Alberto ba- Unless that was an unfortunate name, even so, I, I still don't understand it either. Uh, Villa had a back three in the sixties of Brown, Ars, and oh, all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. I think, isn't it? Yeah. Jim Brown, Barry Hall, and Oscar Ars. Imagine that! What a back line. Brilliant. Wow, that's what got him in the third division. Yeah, <laughs> brown arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it. I'll say it again, Nick. I'll say it again, Nick. Brown arsehole. I know. Please confirm that that's actually true because like, it's true. No, it's true. Absolutely. It is true. Yeah, it is true. That's come up some. In fact, in fact, they. In fact, they had two arses. There was Hector Ars <laughs> and Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it's true because somebody dropped it earlier. Oh, 
my god oh dear oh my life that is got... it's off the scale this comedy that you come up with every week it's, it's crazy, crazy. Uh, yes uh, uh, oh. so we've got four minutes to go nick Four, four minutes, four minutes, four, four minutes, minutes. Four minutes to Anything go. Anything to do with cleansing products or, you know, the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> How can we drag this show down to its utter bottom limits? <laughs> oh, oh. We're pretty good at it. We've been pretty good at it so far. <laughs> oh, Brooks, right. Brooks, I like Mark Brooks's Thomas Farty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jason Hughes's ones were very good as well with uh, Ozzy Ardelistery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Mark Wood says this is brilliant. I'm, in I'm with you, brother. I promise you I'm with you, but I promise you. Uh, <laughs> it's got a bit of a laugh at the end of this show, ladies and gents. You can't beat that, can you? Come on, oh, just a few more now. We've got four and a half minutes to go. Four and a half minutes. Ramp it up. How are we doing, Craig? How are we doing on the boats? We scarily have not had any more votes through, but there's. Of, Everybody just saying how much they're laughing. So we <laughs> are still neck and neck at these present moments between Jerome and Andy Cole. Somebody Don't please, say, somebody please say Cameron Jerome. Yeah, please. I can't. No, no way is Andy Cole going to win that. Can we have a vote? Should we have a vote between ourselves? Uh, I mean, I would say that Cam Jerome would be. Be mine. mine as well. He'd be mine as well. Yeah, no, I think yeah, Jerome. Definitely. Yeah. I'd say both of them. Yeah. You got yeah, Bailey's yeah. and Wes Harding. Bailey's and Wes Harding, yeah. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Shaka, shake it and vacuum slop. Yeah, yeah, shake vacuum slop, yeah. Yeah, Dave Twine and Anthony Lloyd are going both for Andy Cole. Uh, Scott's gone for Jerome. Uh, I'll get last. Dave's. No, oh, no, you no, can't man. vote twice. That's why Dave, sorry, it doesn't count. Sorry. So that means that both of his votes <laughs> avoid. But it's just coming out of the lily pad. Matt Latissa Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Latissa <laughs> I like the bath. Bath Matt Latissa. Well. Ba bath Matt Latissa. Oh dear. Bath Matt Latissa. Cameron, 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 Cameron. Everyone was saying Cameron Jerome. Should we oh. go to Cameron Jerome? Fair go. Let's go. We've got to have to come Jerome, yeah. Yeah, but I don't, we don't care what votes coming after after that now. Do we all agree? Yeah. Alan, do you think he was underrated and like kind of like um, unsung hero a bit? Uh, yes, yeah, he was. He was. Um, he was so frustrating. He would got so much pace, so much strength, but he couldn't finish regularly. He he, he didn't. No. He didn't. He didn't. He never. I, I'm I'm trying to think of the game. Oh, the the, the Blackburn game when we won four mm. one, uh, but we still went down. He's, yeah. He missed. From two foot out, <laughs> he got a side footer and it went over the crossbar. Nearly, it went, nearly went up his nose and went over the mm. crossbar. And then you, you know, you think about the game at Liverpool where he where he smashed that. I mean, that, the one I was right behind that when he did that. I, was, I went yeah. to that one and yeah, yeah. it's just stunning, absolutely stunning when he did that. And, and he's got his goal at Wolves, the winning goal yeah. um, at Wolves, fantastic. You know, just yeah. pace and he could finish, but he. Mm. he he, he he just sometimes he had a man erratic, you know. erratic wasn't he erratic yeah, yeah that's a good yeah. word yeah. Yeah. yeah we we all agree that he was you know sort of um, unsung hero a bit like underrated yeah. yes you know, yes yes yeah. because yeah, yeah, because yeah. when he he did score vital goals you know yeah. he, he was, two minutes left get some more quick 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 I got uh, Johnny Sink Water. Uh, Walter on the potty panty. <laughs> uh, Tim's showers. That's quite good. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> 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 Tim's showers. Yeah. 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 Honestly, honestly. I would, I would Mark, have thought. Mark Meredith said, Danny, don't drink toilet water. <laughs> I just thought we'd have got, uh, got ten. <laughs> Him. Is he retired now? Like, or is he still like a free agent? I don't know. Not sure. No, I think he's still playing, is he? I'll go for Shower Curtain Albion. Shower Curtain Albion. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to contribute, mate. That's all. What about Andy, what about what about Andy Johnson and Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> I get that. I get that only because I, I use their products, yeah. And Rex Limpar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go, Nick. It is now 8 o'clock. 
It is eight o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for that last 15 minutes. I'm just going to go and read them again and start crying all over again, mate. It was absolutely <laughs> superb. Brilliant. I absolutely love Birmingham comedy. And uh, you make the week every single week on a Monday night. Um, not only doing this, meeting up with these guys here, meeting up with you lovely people as well out there. But that last 15 minutes, <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, clever, isn't it? Yeah. I know, yeah. Here all night. I thought it's nothing on Brilliant laugh at the end there. Super. Well done. Thank you so very much for that. I'm going to start writing these down so I can, like, <laughs> I can down normally with JK Roll. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the team, the one on Inspector, Craig Courtney. All right, everyone. Thanks for that. Right, mate. Have a great week and uh, look after that lovely family of yours, mate. Super. Great meeting them all over, uh, on Wednesday. Mark Adams from Coventry. Oh. Coventry. I live in Coventry. Oh. I'm a bummy. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, have a good week, everybody. Stay safe. Uh, look after each other and see you all next week. My old mate, the Savant himself, Mr. Paul Lucas. Have you got a room? Oh. <laughs> I got my blues. I got my blues. Um, audio. Oh, okay. Yeah. It looks so like got... a towel. Uh, it is. It's, it's one of those great big ones. Are you scaring me now? Go on. Put your, put your <laughs> away, go on. Yeah. Um, good night all anyway. Been a pleasure as always. And speak to you all. Well, see you all next week. Chairman of the board, Mr. Alan Watton. Yeah, God bless you. Every blue nose on the planet. Uh, thanks, thanks for some great, great fun tonight. God bless you all. And Chris Brown. Good night and thanks for listening. Don't forget to catch the podcast tomorrow if you want to hear it all again in glorious stereo with all the crap bits taken out. <laughs> so there'll be a very, very, very short... Story. Sorry, Chris. I, I thought you finished. Sorry. Uh, and thanks for me. Because I, I, have not, I have not cried like that in a long time. Not, um, not since Wednesday, anyway. You oh, know Mark, what? Uh, Mark Brooks has said, if you pull your... Sorry, Nick. Yeah, crack on, Craig. Sorry, I was going to say I'm not on Ma- headphones. Everything's quiet. Mark Brooks has said, "Paul, if you put your hood up, you look like a Smurf." Here comes the music. It's been an pleasure and a joy once again. Season twelve. Goodness gracious me, how have we done this, Chris? I've known you what like for more than a fifth of my life now. That's yeah, it's a long time. It's scary, isn't it? It's dark and scary. And Halloween is coming soon. We will be back next Monday, 6.30. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies. thanks for joining us. Thanks. You've been listening to Take care. Tilt and the talk show. my last thoughts go with our blue nose friend, Tony Hemmings, and of course Tracy and Bradley. Good night. Good night. Good night.